Thanks. After closing their doors for nearly two months, Colorado DMV offices are slowly reopening for in-person service, but by appointment only. News Channel 13's Julia Donovan has everything you need to know if you plan on making that trip. Julia. Well, first things first, they're asking everyone, their customers and workers to wear a mask like this one when they head through these doors behind me. They say it's just one of many precautions they're taking to make sure everyone stays safe and healthy. The El Paso County DMV went from four to 20 phone lines while its doors were closed, but the teleservice couldn't service everyone. We typically do two to 3,000 customers a day. Uh, we were able to do a good portion of that, but there's some transactions that we must do in person. Luckily, Chuck Bowerman, the county clerk and recorder, tells me they've found a way to get back to business inside. We're very confident we can do uh, service our customers uh, like we have in the past, but doing it in a safe way that we can uh, not return to where we were before. He's advising people to check online and see if they can get whatever they need done there before trying to schedule an appointment. Bowerman also encourages people to use the DMV kiosks available for simple transactions. We want to keep that, that, that more than six foot spacing. We don't want lines wrapped around the building. If you do have to go inside, you'll notice they're taking plenty of precautions. We have staff that goes through after a customer leaves our counter that wipes the plexiglass and the workstation down. As for the state level, officials tell us they've started opening some licensed offices, including ones in Canyon City and Salida. Offices in Colorado Springs and Pueblo are only serving commercial drivers this week. They'll start allowing regular drivers next week, but still won't be conducting driving tests. When it comes to COVID-19 grace periods, if you've been granted a registration extension, which you can get online, officials say that'll last you until the end of June. To fit in more appointments while they're working on social distancing, they're also opening up Saturday hours at their powers and airport location in addition to their regular Saturday hours at Union and Research. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Julia, thank you. Now to the